Pisces, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for January 3rd through the 9th, and I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there's an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Well, let's see, Pisces, what's going on? Uh, the overall energy for the reading, the lovers. Yeah. Okay. So there's definitely a connection here. Um, I saw it in the past there. I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know. I don't even know if it's physically manifesting in any kind of way, but it's here. Uh, in the recent past, the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, the Page of Swords. Again, that power couple. I feel like there's a lot of attraction here that's coming to the surface or that came to the surface in a particular situation. Uh, but not much has been done about it by the looks of it. So even though it was felt big time, I don't see much participation on either side. In the current situation, the Judgment, the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Cups. Somebody's kind of moving quite along. They're like, okay, this is, you know, I'm, I'm moving on, basically. Somebody's coming in from a decision of, all right, I need to, to go on with my life here. Um, and I kind of get the sense that that's you. In the immediate future, you get the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Ace of Swords. Realizing that someone here has a hard time letting go even though the energy of i'm um, moving on is here then the realization of it is not that easy is also here but i don't see much being done what the hell is going on here let's um let's clarify let me clarify the lovers Ace of Wands, Four of Cups, King of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's some quite disappointed in the way that things have been handled here. Uh, it could be that work took priority for either you or them or for the both of you. And nobody kind of moved much here in this dynamic, even though it presented itself with a lot of attraction, as I said. Uh, let me do... I'm going to do that page of swords there in the recent past. Eight of wands, seven of swords, ace of cups. So there is here a sense of probably expressing a little bit of how they felt in this situation of... I can't tell if it's you or them at this point. But someone either tried to open up, because I see I see this whole, like, if I were to, to go to Oscar and be like, Hey, baby boy, I love you so much. Ah, I don't actually go away. I take it back. You know? Um, so it kind of feels like that. But then kind of waiting for love to show up in this situation. So just throwing it, throwing in a little bit of a, almost like a tantrum. And then kind of waiting. Maybe it's going to work. Maybe love is going to come out of this. But again, the attraction was definitely there, felt on both parts. Let's do the judgment card. What do you want? Where are you unsettled? What's up? Huh? You want to go out now? I just started this reading. <clears throat> Let's do the judgment card in the current situation. The Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, man. It's like couples therapy in here. Um, I see this attraction kind of going down a little bit. And based on that, it's like, oh, okay, I don't feel much anymore. So I can move on. I can freely move on now. 
But that changes. That doesn't stay here. That maybe you're not feeling it today. Maybe the weather is a little off today. I don't know. Because I see that changing. I see even though it's dropping a little bit in the way that, ooh, there was this attraction in the past. And now it's, it's still there, but it's not as... Mm, so that means I'm getting over it. So that means I can move on. The Wheel of Fortune is there, so that tells me it's a little bit of a roller coaster here. Sometimes you feel it, sometimes you don't feel it as much. It doesn't mean it's not there, you know? Uh, let's do the Knight of Swords. Five of Wands, Queen of Swords, King of Wands. It's, it's like a game. It's like a teenager kind of a game here. What's going on? I'm moving on. No, you're not. Don't piss me off. You're not going anywhere. Oh, yeah, I am. I am. Watch me go. And you're not, actually. So, because uh, this whole sense of um, really determined to move on, despite the attraction that's being felt, is creating a little bit of a conflict here. A little bit of, well, you're not going anywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do the Seven of Cups. What is this, Pisces? What are you bringing to me today? No, no, mother. No, nobody's moving on anywhere. But it is something that they may have used in the past, this whole game, right? This whole game of, I'm moving on, no I'm not, I'm moving on, no I'm not. Um, and it's not even about the other person and about, I'll show you that I'm moving on. It's about you. How honest are you with how you feel? That's where this whole game leads to. To you. Back to you. Why would you move on if you felt something? Because today, you know, the weather was that cloud over there came in and I didn't feel it as much. I think it covered it or something. And I didn't, you know, not like yesterday. Yesterday, ooh, you wouldn't want to be there. But today, eh. Mm -hmm. So because of that, that means I'm not feeling it. So that means I can move on. So, you know, and when the time comes for you to move on, you go back to how you feel and you feel things here. And again, it's not about them. It's about you moving on from what? From what you feel? I feel like you're learning from all of this with the Page of Pentacles being here. I feel like you're starting to learn. You're starting to get it that it's not about them. It's not about you showing them. It's about you showing yourself, basically, and being honest with how you feel. Uh, <laughs> swear to God, it's coming in as one of those teenager games um, it carries that energy to it let's do the four of pentacles in the immediate future the moon the three of pentacles the three of cups and the, the saga continues um, yes I'm moving on yes I don't want this love because I mean, I don't feel anything, even though I do. Um, but I still want to be friends. I'm not letting go of this. Even if I hang on to it under the concept of friendship. Although, underneath it all, there's love. But why be honest with ourselves? Because they're not. Who, who cares about them? I'm talking to you here. You know, <laughs> who asked them what you feel? Let's do the Page of Wands. Pisces, what am I going to do with you? Five of Swords, Eight of Cups, the Emperor. You lie. You lie to yourself. That's the thing. Figure out what it is that you feel about the situation because I feel like you're so confused about it that you're starting to confuse me here too. Um... I'm kind of seeing through the cracks so I, I can see what you feel overall and how you're playing with that, with your own emotions, basically, around that. Let's not say with, around it. Because um, you're showing me, look at me, I'm perfect, 
I'm even, I don't feel anything. I'm so emotionally disconnected here that I don't feel anything. And then the five of swords shows up and it's telling me they're lying. Yeah, maybe they don't feel that great love, you know, that, oh my God. But they still have their ears, their eyes, their something open to the situation. So there's a sense of curiosity here and it wouldn't be here if you didn't feel anything at all, you know? Um, and underneath it all, you know the truth. You know, I can tell you, nobody, nobody can tell you how you truly feel, but it's underneath. It's not that whole surface teenage game that is going on here. It's you, you and you, you know? Um, let's do the Ace of Swords. Seven of Cups, the Fool, the Six of Cups. Well, you are showing in more and more in the energy of I'm moving on, okay? I'm gonna go find the soulmate, I'm gonna go find this and that and the other, and it's gonna be perfect and I'm gonna be moving on. Um, okay, this is a soulmate too, by the way. Uh, it doesn't have to be one soulmate you have for the rest of your life and that's it. Your family could be soulmates, your friends could be soulmates, so anybody around you could be a soulmate. Um, but there's that concept of, you know what, I'm going to find something or someone that wants me and I want them and everything's perfect and everything's um, Disney movie kind of crap turned to life kind of thing. Um, this experience is here to teach you something about yourself, if you want to see it that way. And it's bringing in an important pattern for you. And that pattern is dismissing how you feel, basically because let's play this teenage game, let's show them who's gonna walk away, even though I love them underneath and I'm not gonna tell them, but at the same time, I don't wanna let them go. So I'm gonna hang on to them and I'm gonna tell them, hey, let's be friends. And we're gonna lie to ourselves again, because underneath that friendship that I'm requiring, there's love, so let's lie. And lie and lie and lie to ourselves. Okay. Until you're gonna stop lying to yourself. Well, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Well, the universe has a lot of confusion for you. Two of Swords, Ten of Wands, the Strength card. It's hard. It's hard to be honest with yourself. I get it. It's confusing. It's confusing as hell because most of the times we don't even understand how, how am I lying to myself? Because you're feeling something and you're not acknowledging it. That's how we lie to ourselves. We feel certain things and because we've been built to listen to what's outside of us, we go inside and we're like, you're not allowed to do this because outside is telling me something else. So go away inside. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.